So what we're doing here, we're building toilet. Building toilet, you get a little package like that. Yeah. Always the washer, then the rubber. And then what I use is my silicone. Now a lot of people do not do this, which you should do it. You should. Because guaranteed it will leak. Trust me. I'd like a doctor. Like that. Spin your toilet around, take your waste off, and then we slot it through the hole. So I don't have to get my fingers in. More silicone in that hole there. Because we're stopping it. Get the washer on. Don't worry about the rubber. Spin it up. Bish bash bosh, job done. This toilet will never ever leak, ever. Ever leak, ever leak Trevor. The exact same on the other one. Now I don't want all you young lads coming on and say, you don't have to do that, you don't have to do that. Because I only speak in facts, not fiction. Facts, not fiction. Do you know what I mean? I ain't just come out of your mummy's womb. Do you know what I mean? I've been about, I've lived it. I lived it. And that's why you should always do this. Always. Don't forget to tighten them up, not too tight. You don't want to split the washer. But once the silicone dries, it will never leak. And then this, this is vital. This is vital for the situation, yeah? Pop that off. This is already come pre-built and part of it. Part of it, Ant. back on it's what they're saying is right might not leak for six months till washer flattens out till someone swings on it but then it's gonna leak trust me what do i keep telling you he's like a doctor he's like a doctor Right, so that's that. Then we're going to get a spanner, double check that. 
and then that's a flat screwdriver so we're going to get flat screwdriver to tighten them up and then that's it that is good to bolt to that but you don't want to bolt that to that yet what's this it weighs a ton you know what i mean they're not thinking about bombers here so even if the toilet comes built up right what you want to do is take it apart and do it yourself because believe me when i was younger doing these and i used to take everything for granted bang it together as soon as you're walking out door you notice a little puddle of water on the floor you know what i mean because they haven't been fastened properly and it's leaking so you have to take it all out these back to wall toilets and these units which sealed to that you don't want to be taking it out trust me so take it apart put it back together silicone everything and it will never leak that is guaranteed so for these back to wall toilets i find it easier with a flex like that yeah but so you can see where that flex comes to yeah so you want to be cutting the pipe off the wall about an inch so when you push it back it's fully goes in and it's virtually like a solid piece of pipe you know what i mean it's not out like that because you don't want it out like that really you want it in like a nice solid piece of pipe sloping down like that and you will never have a problem it'll be beautiful for the rest of its life so what we're doing here is this is the old soil stack so it wants to be an inch about there i'm going to cut it off with my multi-tool and then that fitting will go on there and when the toilet pushes back it'll be beautiful but you'll be able to pull it out and push it back and this we're going to go up we're going to go across then we're going to go up into a flex so that'll be on a pivot it'll pull it out and pivot in beautiful oh what i do is i get a bit of a duct tape and we all love a bit of duct tape, you know what I mean? Ah, nice, nice. So we use a bit of duct tape on there. Reason why I use duct tape is because if you pull the toilet out, the last thing you want is it popping out on back. Now there is other fittings which you can buy, but what's the point? Do you know what I mean? What's the point of spending all that money? And all you need is a bit of tape, a bit of tape on it, Roger. And that's it, it's beautiful. That can never pull out, see what I mean? Never pull out. The reason why we're using the flex instead of hard wire is because if you use hard wire and you pull the toilet out, all the water's gonna go on the floor. You pull the toilet out with this flex on, water stays in the flex, do you know what I mean? And then if you need to take the flex off, you can, if you need, to take the flex off after you're pulling it out you can lift it and tilt it get rid of the water then take the flex off bish bash bosh when you constantine it back it goes back when you constantine it back it goes back and it's perfect so my pipes here with my isolator on that's just going to fit just inside of there because we're having the toilet right to this edge and i mean right to this edge it's going to go right to that edge because we want it far away from the wall there for him as possible and then we'll go from there always put a towel on the front end otherwise you're going to scratch the floor and then that just allows you to slide it back and forth we need a market for the bracket always put the brackets in um, and that's about it this is just a bird's eye view before I put the top on and you can see that isolator sat nice pretty yeah and you can see this side we're right up against that pipe that's what we want and give more clearance to the wall and everything's hunky dory so now we know we're exactly in the right place we're going to mark that there we're going to mark this here with a pencil and then i'm going to take it out i'm going to use my finger as a finger width and then i'm going to put bolt the bolts on but it's looking very simple very easy will it end like that this is what's really important if you're ever using a flex. See how that flex goes from there to there, yeah? Now, it is designed to go that far, but it would not work in this situation because what had happened is, is 
or your soil had go to the heaviest point, then the pipe would start sagging. And the more it caught, the more it sagged. So unless you made a frame for it to hold it up, to stop it from sagging, it is not a good idea to use a flex on a full waist. When we push this flex back, there's gonna be no flex in that waist. It'll be like a solid pipe. So it could never sag and it could never pop out. Do you know what I mean? So you've got to know what you're doing, when you're doing it, what you're doing. So I will build the toilet up for the second time because City Plumbing sent the wrong one. Yeah. I'm just talking into my camera. Yeah. They sent the wrong one, so now I have to build this one back up. So at least that other system has been built up for someone else. They just might have to reduce Sorry, the price. You've just left it and sent it back as it was. Yeah, I've just sent it back as it was. Yeah. <laughs> if you try to take it apart now, it'd be it's this is good stuff. <laughs> 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 it's, uh, <clears throat> I mean, how can you send wrong system? See, as a fitter, what I do is I expect stuff to come to me so I can fit. I don't know what system should go with which system. I'm relying on the service of the company. They both say hygiene on it, but obviously two different hygiene, you know what I mean? Or Vitra or whatever it is. Pete Tong, innit, Lee? Pete Tong. We need to get Tommy Lee in there, don't we? It's lucky that, I tell you what, it's lucky the screw marks are right. And remember people with toilets, make sure when you push that through, silicone in that hole, and then we'll push a washer on, and it'll be beautiful. Unscrew the waist, silicone round the hole, screw that back on, and it'll be beautiful. Now this is vital, this is vital to the situation, because you don't want the toilet to leak. Now if you don't do that, it might not leak straight away, but it will leak eventually, and then you will have to change it. Then you will have to pull it out, and that is not good. So then what I've done is, I've got it on a pivot system. So how I've done that is, two elbows here, straight into the isolator, so I've got the isolator there. So if I need to work on it, or if there's anything leaking, after we've been testing it, I can just isolate it, turn it off like that, get into it, do whatever, do whatever you want, do you know what I mean? Bish, bash, boss, job done. But, when I slide this back, this is on a pivot system. So that, and that, it's going to go to there, that pipe is going to concentina fully back in so it's going to be a solid piece like that and it's going to be beautiful but if you need to pull it out it will twist out the pipe without any bother and twist in without any bother now I'm going to slide it back and we're going to go from there like so Always use your towel on bottom. Oh, you know what I've done? I've slid it back and I and not turn it on. So, we can just slide it forward, turn the isolator. Yeah, slide it back. So it's just like a jumping towel, isn't it? Always keep a towel underneath it. That way you don't scratch the floor. If you're gonna scratch it, you'll scratch it here. Do you know what I mean? So we know it's not leaking, we're going to put the siphon in, it's just twisting, like a so, fill it up, we're going to let it run a few times, we're going to pull the towel out, and I'm going to drill it through the wall, porcelain towels are going to be bish bash washed out, but it's on an angle, and jobs are good. You know what I mean? When you're doing these toilets, what you've got to think before you screw it back, yeah? What you don't want to do is 
tight in this too solid you want a bit of flex in it because these systems the pot's never perfect do you know what I mean so you need to be able to tweak it back and forth and see how it's got a bit of a slant on it there so we'll jack it down a bit more on this side and have the slant perfect and it don't matter about that because that bows anyway do you know what I mean and you will never see it for the toilet seat so never tighten it too tight otherwise you'll be fixed with that bow and you'll never be able to get out of it I hope that helps slide it back out a little bit get your hand done tighten it slide it back and then last but not least see that don't just put it straight into the screw like that because you're going to scratch that do you know what I mean? Just feel it. Do you know what I mean, lads? Feel the old centre. Always centre. Now, see this? Never use this. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Because what you do is you'll tighten it up too much and you crack the pot. Where me, that is like my right arm, you know what I mean? That's a different. I'm like a more like a robot. Yeah. And then what happens is you just need a gentle bitch bash bosh. And that is how you fix the toilet. Solid. See what I mean? Straight along line, not straight there. You can't have both because you can't make miracles. But what you got to think about is where the eye going to go. It's not going to go there, it's going to go there. <coughs> so the dreaded toilet seat. Everybody seems to have a struggle with a toilet seat. Let's do it.